Hey guys, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac. Today we're going to take a look at what Magdalene has to offer with her yum heart and her high amount of health. So if Judas is the glass cannon, Magdalene is the healer. She starts with a yum heart, which is very nice. What is this? Fear shot. Aw. Okay. Uh, so she starts with four hearts, which is already way better than Judas. Her damage isn't that great. Tier rate, nothing special. But her Yum Heart, which is our space item you can see in the top left, will heal you by one heart every time you use it, and it recharges every four rooms. Which means that we should be pretty good on health right off the bat, and we're going to want to increase our damage and tears stats along the way. So, who do we got first? Stingle! Hey, Poop! Alright, so, looks like this fear shot inflicts some sort of status ailment on the enemy, which causes him to be afraid, I guess. Not sure what that means, but he looks absolutely terrified. Look at that face. Is that not the face of pure, unadulterated horror? Yes. Yes, indeed. And there we go. Yeah, boss fights are going to have to be a little longer now that we don't have much damage. But speaking of damage, let's increase that with the pentagram and head on to basement two. Right. So I did a little bit of research and I found that the way to unlock the whatchamacallit, that boss rush area thing place is you have to, from the start of the game to when you beat mom, you have to do that in less than 20 minutes, which is actually what the little timer on the transition screen signifies. So if you're ahead of the timer, then that means you're on target for getting that 20 minute mark and unlocking the boss rush. If you're slower than that, it's just not going to appear. We are going to want to complete it with every character just to find out what it does, and I believe you unlock a different item for each character when you do it with them. So, just for the purposes of complete the completion, we're going to do that. Oh, I don't have a key. Ah, That is a bad... Let us find a key, hopefully. Oh, hi, Sloth. If only you were as good as the, uh, the Sloth, as in the animal. That would be amazing. If you just had to, like... If you just entered a room and there was just this adorable little baby Sloth just sitting there. Oh, hey, look, a key. Awesome. Alright, so what item are we going to get? Oh, the hourglass. Uh, that's actually a space item, and I prefer to keep my young heart. By the way, when I say space item, I don't mean item from space. I mean item that is activated by pressing space. Perhaps I should say activated item, but I've always just called it a space item. So that's what I'm going to keep calling it. Gurglings, hello friends. Aren't they cute? That one's terrified. As you can, as their facial expressions clearly show, they are scared out of their minds. It's frightened to the point of abject terror. Yes, I made that joke at the last boss too, but it's just so easy to make. Oh, I got hit again. Great! Excellent. I love it. Goodbye. What is this? Caffeine pill? Speed up and size down? <laughs> okay. Puberty. Alright. Does nothing but give us... Oh, whoa. That caffeine pill makes your eyes a bit jittery. Speed up and size down. That's an interesting stat change. Alright. I can get behind that. Size down is helpful, of course, for dodging bullets coming at you. If you're this big hulking target, then you're not going to be able to fit through the little gaps in the bullet patterns. But if you've got a small size, then it should be easy. That was a dead end. Let's make it an alive end. Let's get an end that is full of health and happiness. Ow. Oh, a skeleton key. Okay, that's useful. I'll take it. Ow. Ow. Stop that. 
And a regular key just to match our skeleton one. Sure, now we can put them alongside each other in a little cabinet. And put backlighting behind them just to make them look pretty. Like, yeah. Interior design. Ow! Why did I do that? These guys are like the harmless enemies of the caves. Like the stereotypical ones that you should not get injured to. And I get injured to it, so great. I'm really just looking for that item room now. Open up. Knock, knock, who's there? It's my bullets in your face. Haha. -ha. Ow. Oh, well, here's the boss. I still don't have the item room yet, though. And that is, of course, top priority for any given floor except for the womb. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I do not. I do not want to get back into a corner here. Come on. Say ah. Dr. Magdalene, here to give you a checkup. Ow. I do not want to die here, that would be bad. Because, you know, dying is usually a bad thing. Who would have thunk it? I know. Do the thing! Yes. Okay. After all that, let's head into the item room. Anarchist cookbook. Aww. Just gonna pick it up to get it in my item log. Not sure if I've gotten that before. Anarchist cookbook just spawns a bunch of random bombs all over the place. Not really worth it, especially when compared to the Umheart. Um, do I want anything or should I just shove it all into the donation? Can't get the, cur the coin purse in the middle, which would allow me to carry two trinkets, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna give it all to donation. For the greater good. I mean, I would assume things happen at higher levels than 50, right? Especially because I upgraded the shop to like level 2, or level 1, or some level. And it must go higher than that, so... I'm expecting that to happen. Gertie Jr., hey buddy! Hey friend! Pal! Oh, those are bullets. Careful with those. You could you could poke someone's eye out. Gertie Jr. is basically just a mobile version of Ow of Gertie. Ah, god damn it! Oh god, that was really close to being the end of my run right there. Halo, all stats up. Yes, please. What do we got in the devil room? <laughs> Brimstone again? Really? Really, this is what you're tempting me with. Oh god, I ha I have to. I have to. It was so good in the first two runs. How can I say no? <laughs> yes! <coughs> ah, I hurt my voice. Alright, so now we have Brimstone again. Hopefully, that should bode very well for the rest of this run. Also note that I turned down the volume in the option settings, so my voice should not be completely drowned out by the sound of brimstone anymore. Because I did notice that was a problem in the first couple episodes. Hey bud. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Die. <laughs> Ooh. I will come back for you. Oh, hey, look at that. They made a handy little bridge to spill in the middle. What does it do? Tears up. Cool. I like that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I went a couple runs without it, but now we're back on the brimstone train, and things are going to get a lot more lasery from now on. Alright, 
die. Die, die, die. Once you get brimstone, it's really just a matter of using it and clearing all the floors really easily. This should also make the boss rush later, hoping... Er, whoa. Hopefully, if we get it, it should make it a little bit easier to handle. What does this pill do? Good thing. Yes, good thing. I'm a big fan of good thing. Hi, Larry Jr. <laughs> Alright, so there's the boss. Haven't gotten the item room yet. Have I? Have I gotten the item room? No, I haven't. So we've still got some exploring to do. Maybe it's down here. It's not. Good try, though. I've got some health to spare. Oh! It was spiders. That's my favorite reward. Great. I love it. Sometimes in your life, all you need is a good, healthy dose of spiders. Oh, it's the gnawed leaf again. Unbreakable. Oh. That's, of course, a Super Mario Bros. reference. Super Mario Bros. 3, to be precise. Uh, I'm going to leave you there until we beat the boss, then I'll come back. Mega Maw. Here we go. You gonna die. Oh, he's afraid. In this case, his face actually does look afraid, so that's cool. And these guys are dying. Two hits. Oh, hey, another eternal heart. Cool, and now that other one is irrelevant, because if you get two eternal hearts, it's just the same thing as going through the uh, trap door with one eternal heart. Great. I'm just gonna kill this guy, and the other two should die. Very good. Whoa, 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 careful. This guy's got strong legs. He didn't skip leg day. He can propel himself unimaginable distances into the air. Good for him. Poop bombs, butt bombs, whatever. We never did get to see what butt bombs did last time. Let's try it out. Oh, it's a little poop. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And it makes everything stinky. I'm glad. I'm glad that's a thing that exists. Ow. All right. Let's just find the boss and get out of here. I'm sick of this place already. Oh wow, one brimstone didn't kill him. That's a new record, congratulations! Congration, you done it! Let's see, where are you? Hi! Bye! I gotta say, there's a lot of creative level design in this game. Uh, apparently, statistics say, that in the original Binding of Isaac, each floor, basement, caves, depths, womb, had, I think, 160 different rooms that could each be generated. This one has about 500, so it's a lot more variety. Additionally, within each room, there's also little randomization things that can happen which further increase the randomness and make it seem like a whole new playthrough, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. Like, yeah. You go, Edmund McMillan and Nick Hallis. This is a really roundabout way of getting to the boss. I really hope this leads me somewhere. Okay, good. Thanks. The gate. Whoa. Hello, friend. I will smash you with lasers over and over until you perish. Bullets in a circle don't scare me. I've got brimstone. Whoa, what was that? That was cool. You can shoot as many headless corpses out of your skull as you want. Oh god, he did the thing again. Not sure what that's supposed to accomplish. And we unlock Necropolis. For some reason. Great. Kind of nine tails, shot speed and damage. <laughs> yeah, shot speed matters. Totally. Headless baby. I'm not gonna waste a heart container for it. Instead, let's just keep going. 
doing pretty well against the time. We should unlock the boss rush at this rate. Now, where to go? Whoa, 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 whoa. They've got brimstones of their own. Still no match for mine, though. Sorry. Two dead ends so far. I've gone literally both wrong ways possible to go. Ow. Missing page, it glows with power. I'm glad it does that. That's a good thing. Because you know what? I want my trinkets to glow with power. That's, that's very good. Before you buy a trinket, you have to ask the trinket dealer, does it glow with power? And if they say no, well, that's how you know. It's not as good. It's just substandard quality. Right there. What is that? Anti-gravity? What the... Whoa. Holy crap! That is the coolest thing! It's like a little swirly-whirly of death. Except it actually takes really long to activate, which might not be so good. Still, though, it looks really cool. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Here's the boss. Yeah, I feel like this thing's gonna make me miss a lot. Oh, but the actual physical, like, swirly-whirly can actually damage them. Also interesting. Well, let's take on Mom. Arjun! No, it's Magdalene. We got the wrong person. Oh wow, that was effective. She landed right on top of the Swirly Whirly. And as everyone knows, Swirly Whirlies are very effective when you're trying to murder your own mother. These are good things to have. Go oh, Swirly Whirly! Use your zappy gun! Use your zappy gun to stop them! There we go, okay. And there's the boss rush. What's all this? Ooh, lots of pills. Luck up, yes please. Puberty. <laughs> we got double puberty. Explosive diarrhea, run! Run, Maggie, run! That was bad. May your power bring rage. Alright. Let's see what we've got in here. All very interesting things. Uh, this guy might be good. Looks effective. Tears up and knock knockback shot. I'm not sure if knockback shot's gonna help with what I've got going on. Anyway, I'll cut to the end of the boss rush. See you guys when that's done.
And there we have it. Maggie's bow has appeared in the basement. Plus, I picked up an eternal heart along the way. Always good. We could pick up the Mitri. Mit, mit, Mitri, mit, mit, mit. And let's move on. Just gotta say, <laughs> this swirly whirly brimstone thing. I like it. I like it a lot. You can just kind of leave them around. Like little presents. For the enemies to enjoy. Look how much he enjoyed that. Look how much he enjoyed it. Just so much enjoyment going on right now. It is a little bit difficult, however, to get the enemies to actually be hit by the lasers. Which is annoying. Timing is tough. But if you just leave a bunch around, you kind of get rid of that margin of error. And slay everything. Ow. Oh, dang it. Now I gotta be making use of my yum heart along the way. It's gonna be very important to regain all the health that I lose. Alright, so now that I've gone both incorrect directions. Let's see what's down door number three. Come on, die. Yeah, the one thing is that Brimstone doesn't really very well take care of the little enemies like that. Broken Magnet, it kinda works. I'm gonna stick with the missing page. Because books are fun, kids. Reading is cool. Yeah! I'd say it's most effective, the swirly whirly laser thing in these big rooms where they cover a lot of ground. Just because you can kill enemies really easily like that. Meanwhile, getting more bombs and keys that I don't need. Oh! Guess that was the missing page at work. Right. Really not much to say here, it's just kind of placing swirlies down and firing them. I do like that this is kind of programmed into the game though, it's really cool. I do know that when they were making Rebirth, they wanted to focus more on making item combinations work better. So like, you know, there were some pretty good item combinations in the previous game, but now they've put more effort into making them even greater. Like this one, for instance. This one is nice. Apparently, if you get both Brimstone and Mom's Knife, it is really powerful. There's a little gif of it that I saw on the internet. But that's, you know, a very rare situation that you wouldn't expect to find normally. Where is this guy? Where'd he go? Buddy? Where have you run off to? Oh my god! Popped up right under me. Do the thing. Oh, he's purple. Ow! That wasn't good. Let's go back and get my heart. I believe there was one in this little curse room up here? Yes, beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I take more damage. Just great. Yeah, I can spend a key. What do we got for me? Take that, thank you. Conquest, ooh, interesting. This guy is the secret horseman. I was introduced in the Wrath of the Lamb update to the original game. And he is kind of the fifth one of the bunch. The alternative one, I guess. Oh, and from him, we get the White Pony Flight and Holy Death. Basically, it might do the same thing as the original, I hope it does, but it does this! Guess that's the holy death that it's referring to. But stick with the yum heart because regeneration is an important thing for our children. And the future of this earth. Oh, 
hi. Also, something I've noticed is that on the, uh, on the little screen where it says something versus something, it says Mag it calls her Magdalena instead of Magdalene. Which is a little bit weird, especially because they had the exact same typo in the original game. Not sure if that's intended, they wanted to like preserve that for some reason, or if like for some reason she just has two different names. But I mean the correct name is Mary Magdalene with an E at the end. I think. Of course the character of Magdalene is based off the biblical character of Mary Magdalene. The reformed prostitute. Isn't that fun? Dingle. Ow! Oh. Jerk. How do you like it when I shoot lasers at you? Huh? You like that? I bet you don't. I don't intend you to. Instead, I'm just going to continue to shoot these lasers in hopes of further displeasing you. lead me to the boss already. I want to show off the mom's heart fight as it was meant to be shown. None of that infestation shot business. Eh. Excuse me. I'll just be over here then. What's in the red chest? Good thing. Pills. Luck up. Yeah, sure. And tears up. Excellent. Both good. Happy about that. Because pills, of course, have the potential to be either very good or very bad. Effects ranging from things like health up or tears up to things like health down or tears down. Ooh. Alright. Oh, wait, I killed him by accident. I'll kill this guy too. We are an equal opportunity murderer. Yeah, whoops, I forgot about that. If you place, place the bomb too close to the rock, it'll have unintended effect. You <laughs> place the bomb too close to Dwayne Johnson. You could accidentally murder the homeless man inside of him. Yes, there is a small beggar living inside Dwayne Johnson, waiting for his chance of freedom. But will he ever get it? The world may never know. Also, I gotta say, that was a pretty clutch dodge on my part. I'm proud of that. Die. Okay. Alright, so, we're gonna enter the mom's heart fight here, just for safety's sake. I'm gonna use the strength card as we enter. Let's do it! Strength! Oh, great, I missed. That was good. Alright, so mom's gonna start out the fight by firing her, like, little bullets in a pattern while we get rid of the eyes. a bunch of swirlies where I can. And then the bull patterns are going to get a little more complicated as time goes on, and she finishes with the big thing. Oh! Ho -ho. According to the little achievement that popped up in the corner, this is the one where we unlock everything is terrible. That's a good thing. Or not. Everything is terrible makes it more likely that you'll encounter harder enemies. Also, we're in Shale again, so welcome back. Is it as lovely as you remembered? Beautiful place. Scenic vistas. Rocks. More rocks. Some blood. Like, ah, true beauty right there. Oh, hello. Flatworm. Does not change my lasers. Okay. <coughs> I do know that Flatworm normally makes your tears super flat, as you might guess. Whoa, 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 careful. But I guess the Flatworm does not have any effect on the Brimstone laser. Come on, get rid of the ghosts. We don't like your kind here. There we go. 
And another soul heart for good measure. Let's just hope we encounter the boss soon. Perhaps he's this way. There you are, Satan. You thought you could hide from me. No, you cannot. Alright, so let's go fight the final boss once more. Just get a continuous stream of brimstones going. <laughs> That's amazing. Holy crap. Oh, I actually got hit. Dang. Can't actually see the bullets he's shooting at me, which is a problem. He's got a brimstone mouth. And now for phase three, which is, for some reason, the one that usually takes the longest when I'm super overpowered. I noticed I haven't actually faced the Satan fight yet without being extremely overpowered. So that's cool. I mean, I'm fine for this trend to continue as time goes on. But that's it! Same cutscene as last time. Guardian Angel has appeared in the basement. And that does it. For Magdalene. Oh wow, we have four out of the five pieces of the Polaroid. We're almost there. So that's Isaac, Magdalene, and Judas. All done with Mom's Heart, the Boss Rush, and Satan. Now we have Cain to take a look at. Eve hasn't been unlocked yet. Samson is just plain annoying. This guy I don't want to touch for now. Lazarus, Eden. Okay. So, next episode, we're probably going to do a run with Kane, see where we can get with that. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Sweet dreams. <laughs>